it's everyone's favourite time of the month once again. So I created a poll a while back saying Grim Creeper or Chop Chop. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you fools, you didn't even realise that that's how I'm deciding this month basically. Some of you did realise, but forget about that. And the winner was, you guessed it, Chop Chop. Chop Chop, part time sushi chef, part time sans undertale, but full time nostalgic iconic character. Chop Chop is easily one of the most memorable characters, not only because he's part of the original 32, but he's also really fun to play as and he looks really cool. Albeit kind of soulless, but still. And Chop Chop does have quite a connection to me, because as you all know, Crypt King is actually Chop Chop's daddy. Like literally, Crypt King's original name was Chop Chop Daddy. Ugh, missed out on the opportunity to call my channel up. The real question here is, who is the mother? It's not me. Of course, with Chop Chop, you want to get the edge on your opponent. So let's cut to the chase and Chop Chop with this video. Like father like son, Chop Chop is pretty freaking cool. I mean he's an undead robot skeleton with a sword and a shield. So you may be wondering how Chop Chop came to be, well let's have a look at his origin story. You see when a crypt king and a crypt queen love each other very much, oh, oh you meant the origin from the scanner's website, oh okay. Well if we're to listen to their backstory, which I really don't think you should, Chop Chop was apparently created by the ancient Archaeans. <sighs> yeah, right. Something you may have not known about Chop Chop is that he's actually a hybrid Skylander. He was created by the Archaeans with undead, magic, and tech. I think that's pretty damn awesome. This guy was literally created to be a killing machine. What's that? You don't think Chop Chop's scary? <laughs> that's a brave thing to say for someone in shanking distance. Oh, Chop Chop. You'd be so much more intimidating if you were fully clothed. But seriously though, Chop Chop is a highly skilled warrior and only has one objective in life. Kill. Speaking of killing, I think it's about time that we move on to Chop Chop's moveset. As all of you big brain viewers would expect, Chop Chop fights with his sword and his shield. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing too fancy schmancy, but it gets the job done. For his primary attack, Chop Chop swings his sword. It does pretty decent damage, and it can even go into a free hit combo where he rapidly jabs his sword at enemies. This is a really solid move because you can actually still move around when you attack. Although you can't move around when you're doing your combo, so make sure that you've timed it out perfectly. But wait, you messed up. You completely mistimed your combo and an enemy is about to strike. Shield. Sure, you can't fully block attacks, but the damage you take is drastically reduced when holding up your shield. So if you're ever in a situation where you're gonna have to get hit by an enemy, then you may as well pop your shield up to reduce the damage. You can also deflect projectiles with your shield. You can still get attacked by these projectiles when you have your shield up, but the damage is barely gonna do anything to you, and it's also just fun to mess around with. Now for the first upgrade. Oh boy, we've got some things to look at here. For your first upgrade, now when you hold your shield, you can press the primary button and do a small shield bash. Some good, it's not. Have you actually tried to hold the secondary button and press the primary button at the same time? It's incredibly uncomfortable. Now some of you might be saying that if you press the shoulder button, then that activates your secondary attack. And yes, whilst it works in most of the games, of course it doesn't work in Imaginators. Which means that whilst the shield bash is definitely usable in the other games, in Imaginators it just isn't. You either have to move your fingers into an uncomfortable position, or just not do this attack. It's really up to you. Oh, but upgrade number two almost completely nullifies how awful the first upgrade was. Now when you defeat an enemy with your sword and only your sword, 
you eat their soul and it gives you health. This is a very good attack and it meant that I was very rarely at insanely low health. At a lot of points, this was a complete lifesaver. And the next upgrade allows you to move faster when you're holding up your shield and you can also block more damage. That's cool and all but uh, how about we could just block all the damage please? And now we finally unlock our third attack. For the third attack, you stab your sword in the ground and a bunch of brambly brambles come spiking out of the ground and attacking enemies in front. This is very long ranged and it can attack multiple enemies at once. This is a pretty good attack. And just remember that these brambles will not heal you when you kill them. As I said, that's only for the sword, so if you're at low health, you should damage the enemies with the brambles and then finish them off with the sword. We are now faced with both of Chop Chop's split paths. One of these paths focuses on his sword and the other one focuses on his shield. I'm just saying, before we even get into the shield stuff, the sword is at an incredible advantage because so far, the shield is not impressing me whatsoever. But hey, maybe it can be turned around, so let's start with the shield path. Upgrade number one for this path, oh, upgrade your shield bash. Basically what the first upgrade does is if an enemy hits you with your shield, your shield charges up and it allows you to deal more damage with your shield bash. This only lasts for one of your shield bashes, so make sure that while your shield is charged up, you don't waste that attack. What you're really doing here is sacrificing a bit of your health in order to do a really strong attack on your enemy. This upgrade, yeah, it's pretty good. Don't get me wrong, this upgrade hasn't changed me to a big fan of the shield, but it's definitely made some improvements. And for the middle upgrade, now when you shield bash an enemy, it stuns them for a pretty decent amount of time. This upgrade is straight up just pretty good. It gives you more reason to use the shield bash, and it makes it combo a bit better with the other moves. Now you can easily stun your enemy with the shield bash, and then bully them with your sword. And for the final shield upgrade, your shield bash does more damage, and the absorbed damage from your shield is automatically released onto enemies. I won't say there's anything objectively wrong with this upgrade, but I'm kind of disappointed that there wasn't something a little bit more special. I was hoping for some really cool and flashy shield attack, but it never actually happened. Don't get me wrong, these three upgrades drastically improved the shield bash. It is actually a lot of fun to use now. But I am hoping that the sword path's gonna impress me a bit more. Following some sort of strange Spurs Adventure tradition, for Chop Chop's first upgrade in this path, he unlocks two new combos. After using two primary attacks, hold your secondary attack to do a crazy spinning combo. It doesn't do much damage, but it can attack enemies multiple times and it can attack a whole group of them easily. And the other new combo with your third attack is useless. All you do for this combo is summon one of your brambles in the exact same way that you would do it normally. So what is actually the point of this combo? It even does the exact same amount of damage as the normal bramble. So yeah, this is useless. I will admit though, the cyclone swirl move is really useful. It's a lot better than his normal combo and it's the one that I ended up using the most. Just kind of sucks because Slam Bam, who we talked about last month, had the same kind of combo idea, but all three of the combos had their own unique purpose. For Chop Chop, the Cyclone move is just a better version of the normal move, and the third attack move is just the same as the normal third attack move. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. For the second upgrade on the sword path, your sword now does increase damage. I mean, how can you even object to that? And for the final sword upgrade, they just thought to themselves, you know what, let's just set his sword on fire. How do you make a really cool Skylander cooler set their weapon on freaking fire? Honestly, I would have been happy with the entire upgrade just being that his sword's on fire, but no, they also increased his damage and the range of his sword as well. His sword is on fire. So that wraps up his split paths. Now comes that tough, tough, tricky question, which path is better? So, the pros of the shield path. The shield is actually usable now. 
the shield stun is incredibly overpowered and gives you so much time to attack. And finally, even though you do get damaged by the shield, since you can heal yourself with the sword attack, yeah, this really isn't much of a problem at all. But then the one big glaring fat con of this path is that you're upgrading a move that's just really uncomfortable. Especially for me, because in Imaginators, you can't use the goddamn shoulder button. Now the pros of the sword path. One, you're making an already very strong move even stronger. Two, your sword's on fire. And three, your sword's on fire. And for the cons. Yeah, the sword path does take the W here. The shield path is of course still actually usable, but really, why would you want to upgrade a shield that doesn't even fully protect you? If you're not a dum-dum, you've chosen the sword path, and Chop Chop is incredibly overpowered now with his magical fiery weapon. The shield? That's just there for decoration. Oh yeah, almost forgot about his soul gem. I think I know why I forgot about it. Really, a soul gem that just makes your brambles stronger? Man, that stinks. But the wow pals, the wow pals make things a bit more interesting. I say that because if you have series 2 Chop Chop, then I actually recommend that you pick the shield path. I think this is the first time that a series 2 or a series 3 or a series 4 has actually made me change my mind about the upgrade path. You see, Series 2 Chop Chop's Wow Pal allows for a shield bash to be a lot cooler looking and do a lot more damage. So add that with all of the buffs that the shield got in the shield path and you have an insanely strong move. Of course you don't have to pick the shield path of Series 2, it's just recommended by me. But for Twin Blade Chop Chop, yeah we're right back to the sword. Twin Blade Chop Chop has one of the coolest Wow Pals out there. Simply just hold down the primary attack button and Chop Chop will receive an extra blade from the gods. After you receive your blade, a small meter will start filling up right beside Chop Chop. This indicates how long he can do this for. Yeah, I say you charge that baby full up before using it. When you receive your blade, you're stationary for about 1 or 2 seconds, but apart from that, you can move around freely when charging it up. And yeah, this is just insanely powerful. The only thing that sucks here is that your other blade isn't also on fire. 1 out of 10, do not buy this character. In conclusion, Chop Chop is a simple but brutally strong Skylander. Chop Chop is designed to be attacked, but then do the damage that they did but even stronger, and then end up stealing all their health. This also makes Chop Chop very defensive and hard to kill. He could be put in a situation where it doesn't look like it's possible to win and somehow still pull through. His effectiveness in combat is probably why he's so memorable and why everyone loves him so much. Is Chop Chop good? No. He's great. He is a must have character and definitely one of the best ones from the original roster. I'm giving Chop Chop an 8 out of 10 for his devastating power and pretty cool playstyle. It seems like the Archean apple doesn't fall far from the Archean tree. Thank you all so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I don't think it really would have helped you with your Chop Chop skills because he's a really basic character but still, I hope you found it entertaining and I also deeply apologise for mentioning that Chop Chop is naked. <laughs>